Hey guys, it's FlexiWeapon here. I have come to bring you a new series called Days in Renegade. I've started over in the new server called Renegade because I've felt that uh, Nova's been a little bit too populated since the server merge. So I've decided on making a Night Lord in the new server Renegade. And I think I'm just going to make a few videos showing you guys what it's like. I plan to make a guild known as Overture. And hopefully we can get a good few members, meet up with some friends, you know, have some, have some fun. Do a few boss runs later on. Uh, so in this video I'm basically just showing you day one, you know, making my character, getting him to second job, you know, all that good stuff, all the good stuff that happens really early. Uh, I'll try to be recording as much as possible, because I don't really want to skip over key events, but at the same time, perhaps videos are really big, so I probably won't be able to record that much stuff. But I will record big events like boss runs, job advancements, things like that. So here I am just looking at some of the new stuff, you know, just started my character, gonna start the Maple Island quests. Looking at this, I get a free character slot. That's pretty nice. Gonna come in handy. And here I get the Renegade Mint. Well, I don't get the Renegade Mint, I get the quest for the Renegade Mint, which is a very, very nice hat. Here I get the quest for the Alliance Ring and the level up for the Renegade Coins. All simple stuff. Very good stuff, though. And, you know, just starting off the first few quests, gonna skip along some and till we're done of Maple Island, because, you know, Maple Island's boring, everyone's done Maple Island, we don't need to see that. <laughs> so, I plan to hopefully get this character to around level, I don't know, 150-ish? Hopefully, at the bare minimum, because uh, I've got a lot of characters to 120, 130, and then just kind of gave up on them, but I really don't want to do this with this character. This this character, I want to get really far. I want to I want to do something with him. So here we're just advancing as, you know, thief, basic stuff. Actually, no, we're advancing as a rogue, I apologize. And I am doing the Mesa quest for my uh, guild, because there's a quest that you can do in Renegade that gets you a free 100k, which I desperately needed to make my guild. Uh, the quest itself is actually a little bit boring. You need to collect, I think it is, 30 snail shells and 40 slime bubbles. And it's not, it's definitely not hard, it's just a little bit tedious because, you know, they're not really monsters that give great EXP, you know, get great drops from them, anything like that. But, I mean, hey, it's, it doesn't take too long, it's not bad, you get a lot of free me meso, so I mean, no complaints. Now here I am just walking up to the guild task coordinator NPC, which I think is really handy, because now you can go to the guild place at any town, or at least any town where she is. So, here we are, we're going to have the creation of the guild here. It's going to click on him. It only costs 100k, as I think I mentioned earlier, which is a little bit high in new servers on the first day, but I mean, it's not that bad, especially with the quest. It's definitely passable. So we just enter the name, Overture. <laughs> I check about 400 times to make sure I got it right because I do not have another 100k to spend. And click, there we go. We have Overture. So I went around and I found some friends, I found some guys to recruit, and you know, we have a pretty wholehearted guild now. But first I had to go training at Goblins. Oh, Goblins. The beginning place for most people where you would start training. Um, there was phantoms everywhere, and I had lots of requests to steal my haste. And, you know, that's cool, that's fine. But you wouldn't believe the amount of times I'd had to, <laughs> I've had to stand still. So it can get a little bit tedious, but, you know, hey, if I help a phantom out, that works for me.
So, here I am again just training on Mixed Golems in the mini dungeon this time. Now, I figured that the Mixed Golems are really good EXP, the map's small, you know, excellent spawn, it's perfect, and you cannot get KS since it's a mini dungeon. Um, the Mesa you get here, not very great, I didn't really bother looting it, uh, you know, especially since I don't have a pet, doesn't do it all for me, lazy mapler, etc, <laughs> etc. Et great experience here, not much else to say. Sorry about this part guys, there's actually no audio, I think the audio file got corrupted when I was trying to edit it, so, you know, I apologize for that, but you're gonna have to sit in silence, put on your own music for about, mm, I'd say a minute, two minutes tops, but, you know, quickly here we're just doing the Mushroom Kingdom quests, you know, the party quest is the big feature here. I've probably been to this party quest from level 36, I would have to say, level 36 all the way to level 70. Yes, folks, I am serious. If you can solo this thing at level 60, you know, anywhere in the 60s, great EXP. You know, uh, you can kill him really quick. If you have your mouse right on the spot, you can just click to enter right again. Bang, bang, bang. Great experience. Especially since Renegade has a two times experience event. There's no way you can complain about the experience from Yetis. Great alternative to Jesters, since uh, Jesters was absolutely jam-packed in Renegade. So yeah, not much else to say here. Great EXP. I probably have a few more clips of it, because I have done this so long. <laughs> So, here we are creating the emblem for my guild after I got 500k from grinding on Sakura Cellians for like, half an hour. It wasn't that bad actually, really great meso. <laughs> but I have sped this part up to insane speeds because I am the most indecisive guild master in existence. I honestly pondered over this for, I don't know, about 5 minutes, give or take, and I am sure you guys didn't want to see that full feature length film there. So, you know toggling through all the options here about four times per each one and in the end I went with a emblem that I'm pretty sure fits Overture well enough. Now nobody's complained yet so I'm hoping that I made the correct decision. So, here I am actually killing leprechauns because they drop great amounts of meso and I was absolutely dirt poor after buying the, uh, the guild emblem. <laughs> I didn't have enough for pots, so I had to go and kill leprechauns for a little bit, which was fine, I didn't mind. Um, you know, pretty good, actually excellent meso, uh, pretty good EXP wise too, and um, apparently they are known to drop Toby, I think it is. I didn't find any, but that would have been a nice find if I did. So here we are doing the uh, Pink Zakim instance quest, and uh, EXP wise, you know, Mesa wise, this really isn't worth it at all. However, it's for the Renegade coins, that's why it's useful. For each kill of Pink Sackham, you get a total of 15 Renegade Coins, which can be spent on lots of different things like 4th uh, Job Mastery Books, Special Statless Weapons, uh, 
chairs. I'm just starting to think here's some scrolls, recipes. Like you can buy pretty much anything you need with these renegade coins. And 15 of them is a lot, considering you only need 85 for the highest level weapon, the level 120 renegade weapon. So, really, I mean, pink attack them. You can do it three times a day, and it starts at 6.30 p.m. PST, if I recall. And then every hour after that, for three times. And, you know, I mean, it's simple. It's a little bit tedious, because he does have a tendency to uh, skill lock you, as you can see in the video. Uh, I mean, sure, all you gotta do is just gotta run and punch him, technically. It's it's really not that difficult, it's just a little bit tedious, but in the end, the payout is definitely worth it. The 15 Renegade Coins can net you almost anything you need. However, <laughs> as we're going to see, I didn't really get a great reward from these. So here I'm just about to open the envelope that we got from the Pink Sacking Quest. Oh yeah, and we get a Teleport Rock as well, but it's pretty much useless, you probably won't use it. And I get a Snake Skin. Nice. Or Snake Soup, I suppose it is. Which, it, I think it raises your diligence a little bit, and it's pretty much useless. It's one of the worst rewards you can get. And here we have Round 2 versus Pink Sacking. Just a few more clips of it. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. So, as we're about to see here, I'm about to pop open my second pink stackum envelope, and what do we get? A cup of coffee. It pretty much does the exact same thing as snakeskin, except worse, because I actually used up all my diligence for that day. Great. And here we have just some more yeti battling to get up to 70. Yep, I told you, we're going yetiing all the way. So, even, even now, as you can see, uh, I have the uh, 1.5x Year of the Dragon buff activated. It gives you 1.5 times experience for half an hour. It really, really helps out on Yetis. You can get insane amounts of experience one stacked with the uh, 2x Renegade event. Like, I was leveling up every... I'd have to say 20, 25 rounds of this, and that's like nothing. They go by crazy fast. So, as you can see here, this is our final round versus Pink Sackham, and we got a crack loop in the envelope and see what we got this time. We got hand sanitizer. Very nice. And you got me, I lied to you guys. We were not yetiing all the way to 70. <laughs> uh, I, I managed to find myself a toy room, and there was no way I wasn't going to use that opportunity to hit to 70 right away. So. EXP adjusters is great, I recommend it if you can find a map, obviously. And yeah, so we're about to make our third job advancement. Thank you. 
So, here you have it folks, we're about to advance into a hermit. Let's see it happen. Third job in one day. Not too bad. So, now that we've hit the third job, we're gonna go train at Jester's and around Megatia, and we're gonna do some special PQs, and we're gonna have lots of fun. So, stay tuned for all this in episode 2, and I'll see you again next time.